Well, here we are again, Oral, with Ross Stripling in the starting rotation. It seems like it's the same story every season where he's trying to make a case for the rotation. You think that he's headed to the bullpen, but then for one reason or another, he winds up in the rotation. This time it was opened up by the opt-out of David Price. Flores with a line drive right over the head of Corey Seager. And the first base runner in this game goes to Wilmer Flores. Flores off first is another one two comes home and there's that change up to get Sandoval swinging. That was sweet. Not only the change of speed but watch the depth at the end as this avoids the barrel of the bat. The new grip has really brought on the deception but especially the movement. Went back with a high fastball and got another swing and a miss for strike three. Former Colorado Rocky Tyler Anderson makes his Giants debut. Now here's Muncy. Muncy strokes one to right field that sends Davis back. It's gone. Max Muncy with a solo shot to open the scoring here in the first. And he's got his first of 2020 here in game two. A real start here jo uh, for Jock Oral against a left handed pitcher. Towards right center field. That's going to get down for a leadoff hit. That feeling stronger and more in balance. Feels like his body is in a good position. Rico Garcia, who came in last night as well, comes in here with two on and two out. Turner goes after the first pitch and bangs a base hit to left. Peterson headed for the plate. He'll score. Justin Turner with an RBI single, and it's 2 nothing. Davis did not see any action in the game last night. Hit well to right. Mookie bats back. Out of here. An opposite field home run for Jalen Davis, and it's a 2-1 to one ball game. Muncy's been on both times. He homered in the first. He walked in the second. Muncy yanks one towards the right field corner. That's hooking away from Davis. Another base hit for Muncy. He adds to the homer and the walk with a double. Now Justin Turner, who has walked, singled, and driven in a run. That's drilled to left field. That is going to drop in for a base hit. That's going to roll to the bullpen gate. Turner delivers again. Muncy comes in to score, and the Dodgers take a 3-1 to one lead. Thing of beauty, back-to-back -back doubles. For the Dodgers just keep the, the train moving. On the hands to flex off Gosman. Corey Seager is three for three. He's in the MVP race now. <laughs> Here's Taylor. Bounced along third. Taylor can really run. Flores going to have to throw. Oh, but he sails it in the collision at first between Sandoval and Taylor. Oh, man. No helmet. Man. Oh, Thank goodness. Oh, didn't man. have gets, any whiplash. Gets the elbow to the neck. From the family full of wrestlers. An old wrestler himself, tough, tough guy, Chris Taylor. He will stay in the game. Dodgers. Lifts us to the center field. Yastrzemski dives, comes in, makes the catch, and coming in to score is Seeger. It'll be a sacrifice fly. If Yastrzemski doesn't have to leave his feet, he may have a shot. That was ball hit right on the front. Catches it, goes into the slot. I mean, he really got back quickly to his feet. But Seeger gets back to the bag, and he's got good speed. There was no chance for Yastrzemski, but nice defensive play. Max Muncy comes up. He's reached all three times tonight. Homered in the first, walked in the second, doubled in the fourth. Fly ball to center field. Yastrzemski going back at the wall. The second tonight for Max Muncy. <laughs> they want to go up and in, they go low and away. Well, that's got to be a red zone for Max Muncy. Don't go there. Ross Stripling is ready. He has built himself up during the downtime. He came into camp with the dream of being a starter. He knew he wasn't one of the top five selections, but he never loses focus on what he wants to be. He is the jack of all trades and master of all, and he wants to get off to another fast start. And Ross Stripling with a heck of an outing. The debut is 2020 season. Seven innings, just one run. There goes Peterson. Throw to second. Gets by Dubon, and in the score comes Hernandez. Peterson winds up at third, and the Dodgers steal a run here. You got to keep this ball in front of you. It's not about the quick release. It's about keeping the ball in front of you. 
And then the original throw from Brantley was too low. Mookie looking for his first hit tonight. 0 for 4. Yanked up the middle and by Crawford for a base hit to left center. In comes Peterson. The third goes Smith. And Mookie bats with his first hit of the night and his first RBI as a Dodger. Loaded up for Taylor like they were in the first inning when he flied to left. Taylor rips one through the left side base hit. They go station to station. Bellinger scores. After winning 8 1 on opening night, they lead 8 1 here in game two. Chris Taylor erasing some of the frustration, but he does to get to stand down there with Pablo Sandoval and talk a little bit about tackle football that they played early. That is a four pitch walk, and it'll bring home the ninth run of the game. So Smith gets an easy RBI there as Hernandez steps on home, and it's back to the top of the order for Betts. Rogers on the verge of a 2 0 start with an 8 1 win last night, a 9 1 lead here. Did he go? He did, and that does it. So the Dodgers with an 8 1 win in game one, a 9 1 win in game two. They pecked at him early on the offensive side and almost pecked him to death until the two started coming up at the end. But the guy who really set the table today was Ross Stripling. Outstanding outing for a game two starter. Dustin May game one, Ross Stripling game two. We'll see Alex Wood tomorrow.